do I dare say it? Say, say what? Are you ready for the journey now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've been ready for this journey. <clears throat> I've been on this journey for, for uh, well, since 2010, um, Journey of the Mirror Boy. Yes, and um, it's, been a, it's been a bumpy ride, a lot of highs, some lows, just like life. Um, but it's, you know, I'm humbled by all the things that have come my way from the mirror boy it's a blessed project you know uh, sometimes you wait ages for a bus and seven come at the same time that's what happened in my case <laughs> so you're blessed i am i am ultra blessed i honestly consider myself really blessed because um you know the bulk of what happened with the mirror boy didn't happen because i was the best filmmaker on earth no it didn't happen because uh um you know i i shot the best film it was just timing you know so when god says your time is now fly sister because nothing can drag you down hello hello an exploration of our life. The, 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 the film explores the, 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 the torment of being an illegal immigrant, especially in a culture like America. In the UK, you could just get about away with a few things, but in America, it's almost draconian. So, you know, uh, my friend of mine, uh, uh, Lonzo Zokwe, has weaved this wonderful story, this wonderful narrative with a sixth sense ending, I call it. You know, a very powerful ending about the torment of a woman. A journey of a woman from from you know the, the quest to remain to, to use the baby to anchor her future in America and, and to have that anchor taken away from her uh, is um, heart rending but that's the story that's the, that's the reality of our, of, of our existence as immigrants in a, in a foreign country <laughs> I'm wanting to be as positive as possible but I think it's always useful to be. But I can't say that I'm really so happy to see this prophet as an example of new Nigerian cinema. It has so many strengths. First of all, in terms of the story, the material, I frankly, you know, I was born and raised in London, and I've never really known the experience of people who are illegal. It's an interesting point about not having a choice, and I think that's what the image of black women in film festivals is about, right? Creating choice, creating that choice for our community to see films that they wouldn't necessarily see in, in the mainstream. Yes, and, and also to see films with a, with a female bias. Because culturally, in, 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 with black people generally, no matter what country they come from, the women are not enjoying the same kind of influence as the men. And that's the truth. I put my hands up and say so. <coughs> so to see a, a festival de devoted to, to, to portraying, to showing journeys and plights and, and triumphs and conquests of women in, in cinema is huge. I, I, you know, last year the Mirror Boy was supposed to have been here. But I was contacted kind of very, very late down the line at a time that I wasn't, you know, very disposed to be here. It would have been great because the, the Mirror Boy's journey also represents a woman's journey because this woman decided to take her son back home to Africa. And while the son was missing, she went on a journey herself, a torment to, to, to try and find her son at all costs. And without her effort to find her son, the guy would have probably gone. So there are several African stories, there are several black stories to come out of the, the journey that women embark on. And remember, the women represent our society. They are our future. Without them, we're dead, extinct. So, you know, I could look myself in the mirror and say, probably haven't given a few heroines the, the platform to perform on my show. And maybe I will think about that. You know, shoot a film with a strong African woman. Yes. Mm. You're going to be showcasing a lot more of your films in the future. Yes. Oh, oh I, I, I'm in post-production for a film called Last Flight to Abuja, which 
you know, we're doing all the technical stuff, CGI's and, and special effects and all of those stuff. It will be, we'll have a premiere in Empire Leicester Square, hopefully sometime before the summer. And it will be nice to come to this environment in the next couple of months and say, guys, I have now had the badge of having shown my film at Images for Black Women. People support. Come on. All you have to do is pay a pittance, come here, mix, network, support. All we have to do is just support ourselves. And that support means coming out in the rain, in the cold, flying a bus or coming by tube to go support an event. Be it poetry, be it music, be it film. Support. So that when you support, you'll be supported. That's what the Bible says, doesn't it? I love that. I love that. <laughs>